What's going on guys? Puck here back again with another video. Uh, today is actually going to be a special episode with the Indigo Disc. I got that a couple weeks ago, so now I recorded my shiny team, so this is going to be the video for that. Pokemon Violet, I'm currently working on editing that. And uh, with that as well, I did have teams for the Teal Mask, but I had a computer issue, so I will have to re-hunt those shinies. But uh, we'll definitely make sure that we work on that. I just want to kind of play through Indigo Disc so I can complete the DLC for Scarlet and Violet um, and then move forward from there. But uh, with that, we have today's episode with uh, Pokemon Scarlet. As you can see, I fixed my camera as well. It is not all blurry and stuff, so we're making steps in the right direction. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the video. <gasps> Shiny Porygon! Let's go! <laughs> yes, that scared me. I was not paying an ounce of attention. <gasps> Look at that thing. Look at him. So beautiful. Alright. I gotta look up his moveset real quick. So he's level 71. Zap cannon. So he does no double edge. So I do have to be a little careful. But... Honestly, I don't think a quick ball would look too bad because they're both kind of blue highlight, I think. Oh, and I got the crit capture. Let's go! First member of the Scarlet team for the DLC done, caught, captured, in my pocket. Let's go. And it only took two Minchinos to get this Porygon. So let's go ahead and look at him real quick because I got my target for normal type, so... The rest of the sandwich really doesn't matter. But let's look at him. He's so pretty. Or they. I guess he doesn't really have it. But Oh, his nature's terrible. Plus attack minus special attack. With the trace ability. No mark. Adamant nature. The wrong nature. But you know what? Gone. Let's go ahead and throw him into battle real quick. Oh, there's a normal one right over here. Perfect. All right, and there's a normal Porygon, and the camera kind of got messed up, but look at him. Shiny on the team numero uno. Look at him. He's so cute. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next sandwich, see if we can get number two tonight. Um, either two or three tonight. That's what I'm hoping for. So hang tight, and we'll see if we can get that. Oh, let me pop a save real quick, just so I don't lose him. Beautiful. On that one, we'll see you guys with the next shiny for the team. I would have put my life savings. <gasps> there it is! Right there! That has to be it. There's no way. Let's go! I noticed that right away. Dog, shiny Vulpix. Shiny number two for the team. So I'm going to have Porygon and Alolan Ninetales on the team. I'm just checking his moves real quick. Blizzard, Freeze, Dry, Aurora, Vill, Mist. Okay, so he has no way to kill himself. But I'm kind of thinking a Premier Ball. Because he's got a lot of, like, white. I know it's, like, tinted purple, but a ton of white. There we go. If you guys heard any of the, the pre-conversation to finding this, it was because I found, it was like, there was a Vulpix that hit the light really weird. So it really looked shiny, and I was like, no way. And it wasn't, and I spent like five minutes confused. But with that, shiny Alolan Vulpix. Put it on the board. That's another one done. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can see this is the one that I caught. But when you see the footage, you'd be like, okay, that I can see it. But we're going to go ahead and put you in here. 
but we got shiny alolan vulpix look at how beautiful this pokemon is i actually never used one in alola so i'm actually very excited to utilize this pokemon mr royville freeze dry blizzard plus special attack minus special defense so i think that's pretty good no marks rash nature but what a beautiful shiny so now we have shiny number one porygon shiny number two alolan nine tails well it will be a nine tails but let's go ahead and run out the last 10 15 minutes of this sandwich um i don't know what i'm gonna do with it actually i think i'm gonna try to see if i can get a lapras because that sounds fun or a seal i could go for seal as well but with that, we will go ahead and try to run out the rest of the sandwich, then we'll move on to the next party member. Oh wait, real quick before I do that. I noticed I forgot to send out Alolan Ninetales into battle. Now, I'd like to do it, let's actually go back up here and we will throw it out into battle because I completely forgot to do that. There's a normal Vulpix, so we'll throw it out into battle. And you see the shiny sparkles there. There's the difference. It's so subtle, yet it looks so obvious at the same time. But it is such a pretty shiny, fantastic Pokemon. And so I love this shiny and I'm so glad I was able to get it. Can I get away? Thank you. That note, <laughs> now we'll move on to run out the rest of this sandwich. And then we'll go ahead and uh, move on to the next target. <gasps> there it is! Let's go, I knew you looked different. What's up, baby? You're so pretty. Let's go. <laughs> Shiny. Duraludon for the shiny Duraludon team. I almost went right past that, to be honest. Um, this is the third shiny sandwich that I have done for this Pokemon. And I have also hatched about 2,000 eggs in Sword and Shield trying to get shiny Duraludon. But it is finally here. I'm very excited about that. Right now, I'm just taking a look, trying to check out its move set to see if it can kill itself. All right, so it's Dragon Call, Flash Cannon, Metal Burst, and Hyper Beam. So it cannot hurt itself, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, let me go ahead and see what would be... The Heavy Ball would be perfect, but I only have two of them. Um... And I don't have a false swipe person or spore person on this file yet, so let's just go ahead and throw a quick ball. It does have some blue in it, so I mean it would be not the worst look in the world. I know I'm doing the shiny hunting thing that nobody likes, but let me go ahead and see here. I'm going to go ahead and try, let's just go ahead and do a repeat ball. Just play it safe. Because I want to catch this thing and I want to have it. Because it is for the Scarlet Shiny team. For the Indigo Disc DLC. So, it's the third member that I have gotten. I already have a Lolan Vulpix and Porygon, as you guys have already seen. But uh, with that, we are going to go ahead and try to scoop him up. I think he has a pretty low catch rate, though, doesn't he? catch rate of 45 so it's like a legendary but there's the quick capture bing bang got the duraludon shiny duraludon let's go ahead and take a look at him right away um it's a beautiful pokemon let me see here uh let's go ahead and add it right to the party we'll go ahead and send you to the box let's go ahead and look at him level 69 uh funny number with Dragon Call, Flash Cannon, Metal Burst, and Hyper Beam. Look at that super sick shiny. I just barely noticed the white tip on the head. As you guys noticed, I went past it. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> but there he is. 
And Shiny Duraludon, let's go ahead and throw him into battle. You're level 66, so we'll go ahead and do it against you. And of course, it gets blocked off. Oh my god, what is this camera angle? But look at the shiny boy. So pretty. So pretty. I love him. Oh, I didn't look at his nature. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Got hit with a hyper beam. But that allowed me to get away, so we'll take it. Go ahead and try to throw him into one more battle. I'm going to try to get on a flat surface, so hopefully the camera angle doesn't get all messed up. Let's go ahead and do it against you. So that's probably going to be the best that we're going to get on the sparkles, but beautiful shiny. You can see the difference there. It's kind of more chrome color versus silver with a lot brighter blue on its arms and belly there. And then the big tip, the big reason is that white tip on the top of the inhaler. I like to call him the inhaler because he kind of looks like one. But with that shiny Duraludon, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next target. And so we'll go ahead and see you guys there. There it is! So early! Shiny Quillfish, let's go! Another successful hunt this morning. I woke up randomly at 2 in the morning and I couldn't fall back to sleep, so I am currently hunting. I got Duraludon probably about 10 minutes ago, and uh, next member of the Shiny team for the Indigo Disc is Shiny Quillfish. Can you kill yourself? That is what I need to know. Do you know Destiny Bond? Okay, so he cannot kill himself at all. So that is fantastic news. But right off the bat, I think I'm just going to try Quick Ball. See if we can catch him in the Quick Ball. Get this done and over with quickly. So I don't have to worry about like losing him or anything like that. And the lag is intense. That was almost a 9 second Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, so use Destiny Bond. So, don't kill him. But with that, let me go ahead and... I think the next best ball for him would definitely be a Premier Ball. With most of the white coloring. Oh my god, this lag right now. There we go. In the lag, it does not matter. We catch the Shiny Quillfish. That is going to be team number number four for Indigo Disc. We are over halfway done with this uh, team here, but we have a Hisuian Quillfish Shiny. Let's go ahead and uh, check him out real quick. Let's go ahead and send him to the box. Oh my god, my game is struggling right now. But you can see that's the first Quillfish I've got. Um, like I said, I get through what I have to get through, like the beginning stuff, and then I immediately work on getting the teams. But level 69, just like Duraludon, funny number. Shiny Quillfish, Poison Point, Neutral. Oh, it's plus speed, minus defense. So I don't know if that's good or not, but it does not have a mark. It's hasty nature. Let's go ahead and throw it out into battle so we can go ahead and see this pretty boy amongst all of the lag. I am going to save because I'm going to need to reset my game because I had that uh, glitch where it just like freezes. <laughs> And you're like stuck in place for like a minute while the game thinks about what it's doing. But with that, we have a normal Quillfish. And of course, the shiny sparkles get cut off, but shiny Hisuian Quillfish looks beautiful. I love this shiny. I definitely wanted to go ahead and add it to the team. But let me go ahead and see if I cannot get the sparkles. Oops. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh well, but you can see there, there's the difference between them. Uh, beautiful shiny. I absolutely love them with the dark purple tips, white colored body. Beautiful shiny Pokemon. But with, with that, I'm going to be stuck in this loop for about an hour. 
and then we'll go ahead and try to well we're gonna run out the rest of the sandwich because it just started and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to team number team member number five so we only have two to go Shiny Tie Rogue! Let's go! It's so pretty. Look at the boy. Mmm. He's so pretty. Oh my gosh, let's go. I'm so happy right now. Because <laughs> that is the fourth, uh, no, the fifth member of the Shiny team. Now, I am just checking to see if he knows anything like Final Gambit or anything. No, he only knows four moves, which is Fake Out, Tackle, Focus Energy, and Helping Hand. So let's go ahead and... Um, let's just go ahead and try to catch him in a Premier Ball. That way we can uh, have coverage for whatever he evolves into. Boom. First ball. Nice and easy. That's how we like to see it. Super quick. Super efficient. Now, I am going to go ahead and put a tweet out to uh, go ahead and figure out which Tyrogue evolution we want to go with. So, um, you know, I'll leave it up to Twitter. Poll's already done. So by the time I upload this, but it'll be fantastic to be like, hey, docile nature. So it's neutral. That's actually really good because then I won't have to worry about um, any, any of the attack defense because right now if we were to evolve this it would turn into hit on top so that's fantastic uh but taking a look at it just normal no mark no nothing like that but a blue shiny tie rogue so that is absolutely fantastic i'm gonna try to get like two more so hopefully i can get one with a plus attack nature and a plus defense nature but uh so that whoever whatever pokemon wins the poll then we'll definitely go with that so with that, we're going to go ahead and continue on. Hopefully, I can get one more of this sandwich. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and send it into battle real quick. So we can go ahead and see what it looks like. In battle. Do -do. Got a normal tie rogue here. And it just missed the sparkles. But look at the difference. This is one of the best baby Pokemon shiny by far, in my opinion. It is so pretty. Perfect coloration on it. If, I would just keep it a tie rogue if it wasn't so terrible stat-wise and move-wise, but <laughs> we got to go ahead and evolve it. But on that note, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. So hopefully we can get a couple more so we can get the right member on the team instead of uh, getting the wrong one here. So we'll see you then. There he is! Let's go! <laughs> I thought that was a flower at first, but there he is! Shiny Alolan Geodude. Look at how beautiful he is. Now, this is one that I think can kill himself. I think he has explosion, but let me double check. Because I would honestly hate to lose him. What a beautiful shiny, though. Sixth member of the team. The final member that I need. But he is level 65, so he knows Stone Edge, Double Edge, Explosion. Okay. Um, do we risk it? Yeah, let's risk it. And since he is that burnt orange color, I honestly think a repeat ball would be the best. But I have not caught one. So. Let's go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball just to be safe. Please catch. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. All six members of the Indigo this team are now complete. So let's go ahead and uh, take a little bit of time. We'll go ahead and check them all out. We'll add them to the party. And then what we'll go ahead and do is we'll start the Indigo Disc uh, movie here. Um, you know, kind of running through and playing through the game. 
So let's go ahead and grab all six members. We're going to put them in their own box just so we can flip through. We're going to start off with our latest catch, Geodude. Level 65, uh, neutral nature with magnet pole. He did have explosion, so good thing we caught him. No mark, neutral nature. And then we have... Oh, why are you... Hold on. That's why. <laughs> the fifth member of the team is Tyro, level 63. Neutral nature as well. Equal attack and defense, so I'm kind of deciding on what I want to do with him. And then docile nature, no mark as well. Uh, then our third member is going to be Quillfish, Hisuian Quillfish to be specific, uh, with that poison point ability. Plus speed, minus defense, hasty nature with no mark, but still beautiful shiny nonetheless. Shiny Duraladon, a uh, long time I've wanted to get that one. Plus special defense, minus defense, I think that's absolutely terrible. Um, and with that, no mark, gentle nature. And then we have Shiny Alolan Vulpix. Uh, with that, plus special attack, minus special defense. I think that's okay. I don't think it's terrible. Um, with that, uh, rash nature with no mark. Lastly, we have Porygon. Uh, shiny Porygon here with plus attack, minus special attack. Probably the worst nature it can possibly have. Uh, <laughs> with the trace ability and adamant nature. No mark as well. So no marks on the team. But you know what? That is going to be the squad for Pokemon Scarlet for the Indigo Disc. Next, I am going to go ahead and work on my Violet team, which I already have planned out. Just got to go ahead and get the hunts going for them. But a beautiful start. I love this team. It's, I think, four of these, four or five of these Pokemon I have never used in battle. Like, um, I've never used Vulpix, I've never used Duraludon, I've never used Tyrogue, and I have never used Geodude, Alolan. So, very excited for this team, but with that, be on the lookout for the Mega uh, movie, right, with everything go that happens, kind of start to finish. And um, also, peep the fit on my character. Peep the fit. Character's dripped out. Once it loads in. Look at with the gloves imagine that it's so good so good but uh with that we're gonna go and work on the violet team and then we'll probably make the mega movie out of violet um but with that we have completed this team so with that i'm gonna go ahead and set up a picnic so then they can all be out and about and with that i want to go ahead and thank you guys so much for for watching and checking out the video if you're still here um, once my game stops freezing thank you guys so much for watching and be on the lookout for the violet and then the mega video as well as well as continuing the living shiny decks uh, quest that we're doing as well um, it should go out before this video goes out but if not spoiler alert uh, <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching click like subscribe if you're new to the channel leave a comment and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye. See? None. Oh, shiny Mancino. Let's go. First shiny of Teal Mask, actually. Oh, it looks so good. I noticed that literally right away. But let's go ahead and just throw a quick ball at it and see if we can go ahead and catch it. Two, three. I do like that they fixed the issue with the um, with the actual catching mechanic and how like if it doesn't quick capture, then you can still capture it. But with that, we did get shiny Mancino. First shiny of Teal Mask, not the target. I know I'm gonna get a ton of these before I get my target for my team.
Another shiny Mancino. Oh my god. <laughs> shiny Mancino number two completed the family. Let's go. <laughs> oh my lord. I really wanted to get um, my target next, but I know that this is going to happen. So two Mancinos down on the search for the target. But hey, it's a good shiny. We'll take it. Look at that. Shiny Chinchilla Pokemon number two. At the end of the sandwich, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. But definitely a good start to the Teal Mass. That's for sure. There is a Duraludon. But... Ooh, Shiny Lapras. Let's go. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh man, shiny Lapras, it looks so good in this game. What? Look at how pretty it is. They did a really good job on this model. Oh, that looks fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. We're just gonna go ahead and see if we can quick ball it, because it's not a part of the team. But I do wanna have it, so. <laughs> There we go. Caught the Lapras. And I only had like a minute left on the sandwich. I was actually talking to myself because, you know, it's what normal humans do. And uh, I was actually getting ready to set up the next hunt here because I was going to do one more before I go to bed. It's getting pretty late at night, but we're not going to give it a nickname. We're going to send her to the boxes. And let's go and look at this thing because then this will wrap up the sandwich and we'll just be done. As you can see, I have not been in the Indigo Disc very long. But let's go ahead and check him out, her out, him out. And we're going to put him here because he is an extra. Ooh, he has a mark. The sociable. So uncommon mark, that's fine. Plus special defense, minus attack. I think that's almost ideal for what you want. And uh, let's, let's look at him. Boom, beautiful, shiny Lapras.